Hello everyone, welcome back to another new video on Vedic Astrology. My name is Gautam, I am the host for your channel Astro Science and today we are going to cover another significant and very very critical topic on Vedic Astrology which is Navamsha or D9. So let's understand this chart D9 and Navamsha because if you are a student of, of astrology, of Vedic Astrology, I'm sure you must already be knowing about you know how important is D9 in, in your life in all the major areas if you know whatever the major aspect or major sector of your life is D9 is is very important to know to understand so I'm going to reveal some facts which you might not be knowing about D9 in this video and I have made some notes for you so you know I'm going to go through all the points which which I feel is you guys should know about Navamsha and D9 Firstly, what is D9? D9 is uh, called as Navamsa chart. Very popular, very famous uh, on a global level. Everyone is talking about Navamsa when, when it comes to division charts. So D9 is Navamsa. Uh, D9, it, which means division of, of uh, it's a nine divisions of a, of a zodiac sign, of a Rashi. So when I divide one Rashi or one zodiac sign is 30 degrees and when I divide 30 by 9 the division comes to me is 3 degree and 20 seconds 3 degree 20 Kala so that's that's one part of Navamsha that is one uh, division in, in, in D9 chart right so we have three, six, uh, 3 degree 20 seconds and like that we have 9 you know divisions in D9 birth chart D9 D9 is associated with your ninth house or of your birth chart, right? So what is ninth house? Ninth house is associated with your luck factor. Ninth house is associated with your your bhagya, your destiny. You know how uh, how big your destiny would be. Your you know what will be what will be your luck factor in your life? It it all depends upon this ninth house and D9 birth chart. Uh, as I said, D9 is the nine equal parts of zodiac sign. Uh, each each uh, part is three degree twenty seconds. This is the mathematics. But now, the information which I'm going to reveal is very important for you to understand and to you know make note about these things. Uh, see, Navamsha chart or D9 changes in every twelve minutes, right? So when two people who are born at a difference of say ten to twelve minutes they will have different Navamsha chart, different D9 charts. That's where you know you see difference in uh, in terms of life for twins. Sometimes when twins are born at a difference of eight, seven to eight minutes of difference, their birth chart remains the same, but their Navamsha or D9 chart has significant change in, in terms of you know the, the, the Navamsha lot will be uh, totally a different planet. So, and there's one, one myth which is there or you know one fact which is going around in the world which is that Navamsha is for marriage if you have to see your marriage then you have to you have to see D9 it's true it's there but D9 is not only limited to marriage guys right this is this is important to understand D9 or Navamsha chart is associated with lot of areas of your life D9 means Navamsha means it is associated with your personality traits your likes and dislikes your looks and appearance so these are the factors which are associated with d9 navamsa chart is associated with luck factor your bhagya your destiny d9 is associated with uh, of course as we all know marriage and you know partnership you know how would be your marriage your partnership uh, business you know partnerships and stuff so these are these are like important facts which you have to understand in order to understand or go more deeper into Vedic astrology. So my like you know when I said D9 is important for for uh, like for your you know personality traits how you look your appearance this specific birth chart D9 is my two go chart for birth time rectification. So whenever I do any birth time rectification I consider I always consider D9 because I can see the D9 chart and I can clearly, uh, you know, predict about or analyze the personality traits of, of anyone. Say, for example, if anyone has 
D9, which is Aries. Okay, so as per Aries, the person should be like a lean personality. But if the person isn't a, isn't like a lean personality, but it's you know slightly healthier or heavier or fluffier, then definitely the D9 would be Pisces. That's how I. That's how you know we kind of adjust the birth time rectification. I mean, certainly birth time rectification is not just this. Uh, theory. There are a lot of technical and mathematical calculations also involved in it. We'll come to that in a in a separate uh, fresh video. But D9 or Navamsa chart is predominantly used by many scholars, many astrologers to get the right birth time of a person. Okay, so BTR or birth time rectification is is again very important. Now we have many birth charts like D60. So D60 or Sashtiamsha uh, is seen for the overall you know luck factor from your soul purpose like what is your purpose of your life everyone is born with some purpose in life so what's your karmic purpose what's the purpose of your birth that can be seen from d60 but from d9 or from this navamsa chart you can see or you can analyze the karmic pattern the difference between uh, hard work you know the amount of hard work which you will put in for any work and the success which you are going to get. So that kind of analysis is, is done from, from D9 chart, which is again very important. And D D9 should be always be analyzed, analyzed for majorly everything. Like if you are analyzing career, you should see D9. Because D9 says your likes, your dislike, your, you know, how would you react to something. And D10 is like career, your job. So would you give your would you like that job or that like that business or no you have to check d9 so whenever uh, d9 is like a primary chart for me before analyzing any division chart i will first see the d9 the swabhav or you know the the like uh, the personality which a native will hold within themselves and once you understand the nature the swabhav the personality you can interlink D9 within with D10, D24, D16, you know, D30 with all the different division charts. So that is why D9 is primary and most important. Uh, that becomes very most important uh, division chart out of, you know, all the division charts which we are going to discuss in this playlist division charts. So this was almost, you know, everything which, uh, which is important to analyze. We'll certainly take a lot of live examples about Navamsha chart, how to analyze this in a, in a separate new video. We'll get more deeper into D9. This video was an idea to give you about what is D9, what is Navamsha and I hope you have understood about Navamsha chart. Do let me know in the comment section what is your D9 lord. Open up your Navamsha chart. The first house is the, is the you know, where you can see the lord of the Navamsha. Let me know what planet it is. And we can discuss about that in the comment section. So I hope you love the video. Thank you very much for watching this video on this channel, Astro Science. I'll see you next time with another new video on astrology. Thank you.